hello in this video we will discuss about the trading so what is the trading and what is the exchange of currency and different types so let's begin to understand first organic trading what is the meaning of this so that is basically we are exchanging in the world with different products to exchange and buy and sell so what is the meaning of this the whole world is the globalization of um, the community which that is exchange country to country and peer to peer or city wise or you can say so that is the exchanging system which that is used for the trading and earning money how it's possible so here is the one person which uh, buy the sheep fun one sheep uh with the cost of 500 dollars and sell to another country with a cost of 1000 dollar it means it's uh, use the uh, cost for uh, for shipping of this sheep or cattle so that means it gets a 500 dollars profit so it means it can buy a two uh, more uh basically two again two mo sheep it means the one can be a uh, benefit a uh, one can be profited so it means that means the making of the money is like that so that is the meaning of trading which that is give the uh, uh organic trading which that is uh buy and sell sell and buy to get a uh, money or earning of the money so that is why so what is that means it means the making of the money system is like that it means the one person which that is hold the one sheep and give the growth of that sheep and sell to another person with the high price so that means he is earning the money so first of all here is the earth which contain a different region which that is uh use the different currency so exchange of currency is the another way to trading for example here is a uh, united state america which is the 5000 dollar is exchange uh, with the another goods or something uh, into a 5000 dollar to donate into the pakistan pakistan or another country for buying something so it means the pakistan uh, give the rupees in the form of basically in the form of uh, get dollar it means the dollar will be increase in the pakistan while the decrease of the dollar in america it means the decreasing of the dollar and increasing of the dollar it means the pakistan get more benefit and it means the price of dollar will be decrease in the pakistan so that is why and on the other hand vice versa so the value depend upon basically 5000 dollar in the america will be decrease while the pakistan will increase it means the value of rupees will be decrease in pakistan so it means the value of pakistan decrease mean the dollar rate will be decrease so the less amount of dollar can increase the value but in here it means the uh, less amount of rupees can increase the uh rupees value so that means the decreasing of the number of money number of money uh in the in the in the country uh, can increase the value so here is the formula is looking like that is the dollar for example the money is equal to demand it means the increase the demand to increase the dollar value but the if value will be increase it means that decrease of the money it is inversely proportion but the directly proportion according to the demand so that if i buy for example i buy the dollar from ru uh, rupees so the value of dollar decrease and value of rupees increase due to scarcity so that means in marketing level we will discuss about just marketing so what is the marketing so here is a person which contain a cart containing a fruits and these fruits is selling so the increasing of this fruit in the market will decrease the value of this fruit so it means the price of the its cost will be decreased so when it sell the more and more fruit in the low cost 
so the market will be decreasing with this fruit so it means the scarcity of this fruit will be increase in the market it means the decreasing uh, of the fruit will increase the price so the simple science is that about the marketing when decrease the demand when de increase the demand but the in decrease of that fruit product so it means the price will be rise so that means the graph will be uh, more and more and value will be more on the other hand important thing is that disadvantage of marketing organic marketing is basically a different person sell with a different price so the less medium or high one per piece or two per piece or three per piece three dollar per piece or three rupees per piece so it means the different people will sell with their own cost so what is that mean he says that our product is more good as compared to other so that means it's loss for us we can't we can take honesty in all our uh, all uh, or we can manage and we can can't check uh, who is right and we can't check the quality without expert so that is the difficulty for us but here is important thing is that barter system in the past um, time in old time this strategy use which that is a price a good something which that is exchanged by the person to person or peer to peer but their price or value we don't we didn't know about that why because the boots are clothes are more price as compared to that goods for example the wheat or something so that mean exchange is very difficult to understand but the uh, world will introduce the paper currency as well as the coin currency but this coin currency is basically inorganic trading which that is also used so let's begin to understand the inorganic trading which that is the currency trading or cryptocurrency trading so what that means currency mean the current value while the crypto mean hidden currency for example the present cost currency mean the present cost while the crypto mean the hidden so the currency mean the currently value so that's exchange with, with uh, basically the currency exchange is dollar into rupees and rupees into dollar for scarcity and decreasing of the cost of the dollar and increasing of the rupees or something so that is a uh, depend on the buyer or seller so here is the cryptocurrency which that is the digital currency are present showing in the number and logos so that for example the bitcoin ethereum and ripple this is the blockchain system this blockchain system is introduced first is satoshi which that is the uh, which that is the chinese scientist or uh, microsoft expert so this is the globalization same currency throughout the world so that is our benefit and their value will be same throughout the world due to the uh, due to the globalization and global village creation so that is why so this is the globalization and same currency throughout the world and this value increase or decrease on the basis of demands for example coin will be increased so value will be decrease in the market while the coin will be decrease in the market so the demand will be increase so it means the number of coin the value will be increase so if decrease the value due to the increase of the coin in the market so when we will we'll buy the coin so it will be increase the value due to our buying at selling it's depend so let's here this currency show in the digital graph to complete output and input so let's begin to understand basically the here is the value and the time wise people are selling and people are buying the pro, uh, the coin so for example here is the people buying and it means the graph will be up and more buy people uh, uh, people more buy the graph more up so when people will be sell this product so graph will be down it means the buy and sell depend for example when sell the graph will be down it means the value will be down 
due to the increasing of the coin in the market so important thing is that so the massive selling in crypto market is there a uh, harmful effect which that is de drastically decrease the value of that coin so that means up and down so that is the volatility is more and unstable cryptocurrency so that means we are we can uh, buying and uh, we are uh, we can buy that coin and remain in the uh, our wallet and wait for the upcoming uh, price to graph up to sell it so that is the benefit and people are trading uh, just like that in the system no any cheating no any scam coin password and decentralized inorganic trading as a digital this is decentralized currency p2p transfer for example this is the blockchain system which that is not centralized any uh, things so if you buy the coin for example btc or ethereum it means you have own bank and you are sa saving your money with own your uh, wallet so you uh, you have not any uh, helping authority or something so here is the buying and selling to each other is like that that is the network which that is showing the blockchain system so the bank system is another way which that is the centralized exchange it means the first go the money into the bank and next bank will transfer to another person so that's all thing is related to that so i hope you make sense about the organic trading and inorganic trading which that is i am giving the name according to their trading system